welcome to another episode of Boat Snoop. I'm your host, Clint Johnson, and what we have for you guys today, right behind on the other side here, is a 2005 Silverton 34 convertible. And they are nice boats. Um, I did an episode on a Silverton 41 earlier this year, uh, so make sure to check that out. But check out this boat. She is a nice boat. Let's take a look. So this Silverton 34 convertible, her name is Kraken, and she was just recently in the 2021 Fort Myers Boat Show here in Florida. You can see she has an upper bridge, swim platform, something you don't see every day. Um, this is a custom um, sled for a dinghy. Instead of having dinghy davits, it's just a sled, and it pulls the dinghy right on up. So pretty neat All right, let's hop on board and I'm gonna take you up to the bow first and we'll take a look around there. This boat for a 34 has a huge bow area that you, your family, friends could lay out on. For a boat this size, it's, it's absolutely huge. I don't know if that really comes out in the video, but really large. Comes with a nice stainless steel anchor Comes with a electric windlass. See the chain locker down there. Fresh water rinse off for your chain. Keep it clean. Here we have a shot of that really nice large bow area that you could just lay down and relax. Put some pads out. All right, let's get around the back and. Check her out from back there. Coming around the side. See what a large area it is back here. For those of you uh, that are wondering if this is a fish well or something like that, it's just a bunch of storage. It's where all your shore power connectors come in. access to the salon inside but first we'll go up take these stairs up and take a look at the bridge really nice large seating area up here Really nice helm station. All your associated electronics. Something interesting about this boat, you'll see this door here over on the starboard side and there's another one over on port. And I'll open it up. You don't always see this, but there is a huge amount of storage. And hopefully you can kind of see it in the video, but down below in here, and also, I mean, you could quite literally climb into here. And if you're changing out electronics or had to work on something, so many boats, it's so hard to get in there and replace equipment, anything like that. But whether you hire someone to do it or you do it yourself, easy access, lots of storage. 
now that we've snooped around and checked out this really large spacious bridge area let's hop on down and get into the salon get inside Hey guys, do you need a loan to buy your new boat? So many lenders. Who to choose? Are you getting the best rate? What if the boat I want is older than 20 years old? Not to worry my friends, Boat Snoop has a solution. As a yacht broker, I have a boat loan broker and sponsor of this channel that many of my clients use to great satisfaction. I jokingly call him my boat lending leprechaun, holding the holy grail in his right hand while riding a unicorn over a rainbow into a pot of gold. You might ask, Clint, why do you call him that? Because this guy, he has been in the business for over 30 years and has connections to almost every major boat lender possible. Additionally, he has a good handful of lenders that can finance a boat 21 to 30 years old, and lenders that do that are not that common. Finally, he has one lending source that can finance boats over 30 years old. That's right, it could be possible to get a loan on an antique or classic boat. To summarize, using a boat loan broker such as this saves you time as you only have to fill out one application instead of many from a whole host of different lenders, which is time consuming and utterly exhausting. As many of my clients have found, he'll bring to you the best financing deals he can find and that you can qualify for. If you're located in the United States, need a boat loan for 20,000 US dollars or more, and you are interested in connecting with my personally recommended boat lending leprechaun just email me your name and best phone number at lender at boatsnoop.com upon receiving your email i will personally introduce my lender and you via email at that point i just fade away and let the two of you get to work on financing your new boat really nice sliding glass door we do have a full-size screen Just look at how open and spacious this silver 1034 convertible is. Absolutely wonderful. I do want to point out that this uh, boat has two staterooms. One of them has bunks. But additionally, this whole couch makes out. And I'll just show you right here. And that took me about three seconds to pull that out. And you could have two additional people sleep here, sleep a total of six people on this boat. And you might even be able, really honestly, someone could lay out on that couch as well. Just look at the amount of light that is in this boat. Big, roomy, well lit. You have these windows here. There's a screen on that one and they pop open. But you could just underway, just open those up, get really good fresh airflow into the salon, which is not normal on a lot of boats like this. Down here, we have the engine room and this boat is powered by two Yanmars and we'll hop on down there and take a quick look. So here we have access to the engine room. And what we have is two 315 horsepower Diesel Yanmars. Let's get down there. We'll take a little bit closer look. We have our Halon fire suppression system there. Here's our starboard Yanmar. Get your Raycor filters there and there for easy access.
really nice clean engine room. That's what I always like to see. All right, let's uh, hop on out and snoop around the rest of the boat. So on this boat, we have a pretty good sized galley. Really nice, decent, pretty good sized refrigerator for this size of boat. Really nice. microwave good size refrigerator of course we have our freezer down here as well good size two burner stove top electric really large and really nice stainless sink real deep I'd probably use that to uh, throw an instant pot so it wasn't rocking around if I was cooking while on the water. It'd fit in there perfect, even a large one. So here we'll start with the first stateroom. Like I told you earlier, it is indeed bunks, but they're really nice, large, deep bunks. Two of them. Has itself a closet right there. This boat has the head, but it has a full walk-in shower as well. So we'll start with the shower. Really nice large shower. And a really nice large seat. Bigger than on boats that are a lot larger than this actually. So really, really nice. And then on the other side, We have the head. And then for a 34 foot boat, this is a very large, but it's not a V-berth bed that's gonna cramp you. And you, you both lay, side to side but it's really wide and beamy at the bow of this boat so it provides a huge huge amount of room and there's a step up there so one person can get up get in there another step down here to get up in it really nice good size closet cedar lined love the cedar and then additionally a bunch of drawers so a lot more storage in here and I'll just show one I know you don't want to see all three but they're really deep and they're really large so really really nice Big, roomy, and open for a 34-foot boat. Just an amazing, amazing amount of space. Well, thank you guys again for joining me on this episode of Boat Snoop on this Silverton 34 convertible. The name of the boat is Kraken, and you can see right over here. That is awesome. I love that little Kraken sitting there, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I additionally want to give a shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you guys so much uh, for following this channel, looking at all the videos, all the boats that that I video. Appreciate you. Um, to everyone who uh, you know gives a thumb up in these videos, uh, appreciate it as well. Once again, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.